Hey yo man, welcome back to another video, man. It's Young Chris 2K, man. Before we start the video, man, you gotta hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that post notification button so you know every time I drop a video, you be the first one to see it. Now, today, man, we got NBA Youngboy talks about fame, his music, and changing his ways, right? So, you know, he came out with this, uh, I think this was like yesterday. I think, I think it was yesterday. Let me see. Let me see. Was it yesterday? Yeah, one day ago. They got 1.4 million views. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, but I ain't seen this interview. I didn't know Young Boy do interviews. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, bro. I've been listening to Young Boy for a minute, bro. Like, since dude came out, like, in 2016, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody know the song. I, don't, I forgot the, the song was called. The first song I heard about him, bro, they got me, like, got him busted. I think it was, like, 38 Baby. I think that's what I heard first. Because he's like, I'm a 38 Baby. Yeah, that shit was clean. That, it was gold, bro. I ain't going to lie. They, a lot of parties was jumping because of the young boy. Back in 2017, 16, 17. Those seven, 16 and 18 with them golden. Them, no, 16 to 19 was the golden, the golden years for young boy. Like, bro. He couldn't drop... It was no such thing of him dropping a bad song. Bro couldn't make a bad song. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, let's start the video. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, alright, you did it. Stay strong. Nothing's wrong with you. <laughs> you okay to walk this earth? You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. No, I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. Bro, this this, bro, it's getting, bro. Oh no, this is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, young boy, like, honestly, I ain't really heard this man talk. Like, only, only time I heard this man talk was in rap. And, and if like, if it was talk, like. Maybe like in the uh, that little club thing they be doing on like on DJ Academics how they be doing that little I forgot what it's called but I know it's called club talk or something you know what I'm saying like all artists and all that they be in that little club thing talking and shit y'all know what it is I don't know cause I forgot what it's called but yeah that's I think that's the only the first time I heard him talk and like this is like the second time I actually like this man finna go like deep in and let, let's just see bro let's just see. I think I grew out of liking music, like, the love for it, but it's like, it's therapy, it's the only way I can express myself, and as I sit down behind the mic and just, oh, it's Hold the on. only way I can, but it's that. like, it's therapy, it's the only way I can express, but it's like, my bad y'all, I'm so sorry, liking music, like, the love for it, but it's like it's therapy. Oh, it's the only way I can express myself. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth, I feel relieved. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music. Bro, a lot of rappers don't realize that, bro. A lot. That's crazy. Young boy's growing, bro. I see growth. I think, bro, like 21, 22. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, bro, at this age, bro, it's growing, bro. It's crazy. You, you wish Dirk would, you know, say some shit like that. Because, like, bro, his music is just how he get motherfuckers killed. You know what I'm saying? And, like, young boy saying, like, his music too, bro. He, he, bro, young boy music putting people on crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like, young boy music was making crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I say making crash dummies, bro, you have people going out and crashing out. You know what I'm saying? Going out there and get wicked on people. But it's because it's the music and, like, what he's putting out there in his raps. You know what I'm saying? For him to realize that and, you know what I'm saying, want to change his ways on that, that's crazy. But that's growth. That's growth. I hope he don't be, uh, I mean, he might be another raw wave. You know what I'm saying? In the making, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, put the guns down, bro. Get your feelings or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Put the guns on be happy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make music to make people happy, bro. Because, like, 
the music they making, bro, is just is just motherfuckers just they just killing each other on it. You know what I'm saying? And I tell people all the time, music does like can control your emotions and all that, bro. Like music is what you feeling. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like crashing out, you're gonna listen to some crashing out music. You know what I'm saying? How I many kids and people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day, but I promise to clean whatever I can clean. But it's going to take time. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. Like, hold on. Damn, more than 10 million times? Damn. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, Yo, those that was some that was some those some good numbers, bro. If I was a record label, I would love to have Young Boy on my team, bro, because bro would be selling me a lot of records. We'd be making a lot of money together, <laughs> a lot of money together, bro. I swear to you. But anyway, side the fact, bro. This this is this, bro. This is another side that we have not seen of Young Boy. I swear to y'all, I don't think we ever seen this side. The media was painting Young Boy out to be a bad person, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like with him catching gun charges, him going back to back to jails. Like rappers do this, you know what I'm saying? But for him to realize, like it took him to be on house arrest to have him sitting down to realize, like bro, your music is really, you know what I'm saying? It's it's making people feel this way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should a little change up. And I, he's realizing that. You know what I'm saying? You know, he he really realized it. He, he I mean, he's really real. He oh my god, fuck it up. He really realized realizing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy now. But hey, man, I appreciate Young Boy for just coming out saying this, bro. Cause like this is like what people need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like people, a lot of people, he might lose a lot of fans for this. You know? You never know. Or he might gain a lot. So it go both ways. A lot of people it could it could be gaining more uh, mad mad respect for dude for saying this shit. I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these where I can have my fun in. Hey, <laughs> and that's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle. Bro, how long is dude under house arrest, bro? Because he said he actually want to get rid of all his cars because he can't drive them. Obviously, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you in the house arrest, you can't do nothing, bro. But how long is due on house arrest, bro? I'm not going to do all this research for that. I mean, because that's just doing too much. But, bro, got it, bro. I mean, it's out of curiosity, bro. If y'all know, y'all know. Because I know a lot of young boy fans, bro. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather y'all tell me what it is. You know what I'm saying? Dude, there for like, you got like another year or whatever. Like, how long do this man got to be on house arrest? The money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human, when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he loved people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. like. Just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. Like, oh my kid. Hold up, nigga. Hold up. Hold up. What do you mean? Like, bro, the the music you make just don't add up, bro. Like, I mean, nah, bro. That, that, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That, that shit ain't adding up, y'all. Oh, God. That, that ain't, no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's not enough. How the hell can you be scared, my nigga? How can you be scared, dog? Like, like, how, my dude? Like, for real, like, the music you make? 
I don't, I don't know, bro. For you to be terrified of people, I, I mean, I just don't see it, bro. Because, like, when I see your performance live and all that, you you look comfortable, fam. You look like you can do this all day. You talking about, like, bro, when you beating people up in your in the crowd, bro? Like, when you doing that? When you own that at first? Like, when you punching people in the crowd? Like, I, like people terrified of you. You know what I'm saying? You terrified? No, they terrified of you. I, I, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. It, that, that's weird. That's just weird. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I just think that's weird. You terrified. I, I ain't buying that shit. No, hell no. Yes. I'm terrified of people. No, I'm very no shy. No but I never know why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I'm terrified. I mean, I mean, look. I mean, this... I mean, it could be in the eyes. You know what I'm saying? It could be in the eyes. It, it, he could be actually terrified, but I don't know. And, and, and then, like, the way his hairstyle is right here, yeah, that's that 2019 young boy right there. That's that young boy that came in. I came through Swerve. That's that That's that young boy. That was that demon young boy. He was on Demon Time at that time. So for him to say what he's saying right now, I just I just don't understand, bro. I just don't believe him, bro, because on 2019, he was that man. He was that dude. Like everybody know, in twenty nineteen, he was that dude. He was that dude from twenty sixteen to twenty nineteen. But twenty nineteen, this year, that 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 look, th this right here, th yeah, that that was that nineteen young boy right there, twenty nineteen. Out of people, people are cruel. It's like you can't control yourself, so you never know what someone will do you. He got a point. Always, you know, he got a point. knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean, they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not going to be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. I mean, bro, for him to be compared, he's probably going to be compared to Lil Wayne after his career is over with. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mama, bro. Because yeah, y'all know the facts, bro. The numbers are there, bro. If not, they're going to be probably better than better than Lil Wayne's when his career... No, nah, they are definitely going to be better than Lil Wayne's after his career is over with. It's going to be better than a lot of people. Lil, young boy is going to be the this generation Tupac. Hey, I, 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 argue with your mama, bro. The numbers are there. The numbers are there. He's going to be the generation of Tupac. A lot of y'all gonna get a lot of hate. I'm a Juice World fan. I am. That's like my favorite rapper. But dude, dead. He can't make no more music. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad because, bro, I, I I get mad because I can't listen to. He got no more music. I gotta keep listening to the same shit that he recorded years ago. You know what I'm saying? Which is not no problem. But young boy, young boy's on the path to be great. He's on the path, bro. Even Birdman said the same thing. Young boy is on the path that he, he could be the best rapper. He actually is the best rapper. Right now, Lil Durk is the best rapper. Then Lil Durk been in the game for ten years now. Lil Durk been in the game since twenty thirteen. Young boy stuff in the scene twenty sixteen. Young boy been popping since twenty sixteen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to compare two of their careers because both careers are very well respected. But yeah, Durk is not this generation of young of Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. Young boy, because I feel like Young Boy's gonna have the the longest Jeffy career, because his he got different music of genre, like his genre of music is crazy, like he rap about everything. You know what I'm saying? He he have songs feeling mad, sad, uh, happy. You know what I mean? Everything, wherever you feeling, he got songs for that, and that's why he's gonna last for a long time. This is always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. You can't be on top forever, you know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken. And I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. Hey man, hey, well, well, hey man, well, why you, why you do that? 
Why is young boy painting his fingernail black, bro? I only gonna get more groovy from here. Now that I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing. Look, bro, I'm a big fan of Young Boy. A big fan. You know what I'm saying? I like his music, bro. But what's up with your finger of being black, bro? Bro, you and this dude, I think his name is Jalen Green, that plays for uh, Houston Rockets. I think he painted his black, too. What's up with y'all painting your finger of, bro? Why? I mean, I get it if you're like rock bandish, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do, you know? Not all of them, but. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of them do, especially golf people. You know what I'm saying? Paint their finger on black, like gnarly did. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I mean? But I want that young boy because, like, bro, it's like what he raps about. And then when you go actually talk to do or no dude, he got his fingernails black. You just it just throws you off because you like, bro, the music you make don't represent the. Look at the look at image, bro. He he, hey. Bro look like a rapper, bro. He look like a rapper. He, you could tell. He, he got to look at everything, bro. But when you go talk to him, like, in this interview, bro, you, it'll probably throw you off because you'd be like, bro, you terrified of people, bro? Like, you'd be like, mm, that's weird. Because, like, if I met young boy and I'm like, he's probably the opposite, bro. He's probably, like, really cool, but, like, I said, terrified of people. Like, the way he talk right now, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know where to buy it. I mean, this is how this is media talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Cause you got to think outside the box, bro. Like some people can lie in media. I ain't saying young boys lying, but I'm just saying, bro. That just well, it's the music you make. I just can't. It just don't like. That's like dirt going into the media and talking like young boy, but the music he make it just ain't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Just not adding up. But hey, young boy, he's a different cat. You know what I'm saying? He's just a different cat. He's from Louisiana. Like, I mean, he, he just different. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes him. That's what makes him like the best rapper, bro. I guess in this generation, but he's different from everybody. And that's what you need in this world to be different. If you different, like like truly different from everybody. You gonna make it. You gonna make it regardless, cause you just different. Cause that's something new. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's seen that before. But anyway, if y'all like everything I said from the beginning to the end, y'all go ahead and like this video, share this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on that post notification button so you know every time I drop a video, you'll be the first one to see it. All right, y'all, it's John Chris 2K, man. I'm out. Deuces.